Welcome to another QuoteWorks 101, our regular series of short presentations, little mini training sessions, giving you hints and tips for getting the most out of QuoteWorks. And this morning, I'm going to cover how to get a single spreadsheet, a single Excel data in a single Excel spreadsheet into a single quote. Hello, my name is Tim Wilmot and my company, Wizard Systems, we're a specialist CRM, independent CRM system supplier who help out mainly small and mid-sized companies up and down the UK improve their sales, productivity, marketing and customer service through the use of simple and affordable solutions like QuoteWorks. So this presentation will be about 10 minutes or so in duration. I'm just going through a way of doing this. There are lots of options around what I'm what I'm doing here. And if you want to explore any kind of migration of data into QuoteWorks, then uh, please just contact us at Wizard Systems. We'll be happy to help you out. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel. I'll do my best to answer those at the end. Um, also, at the end, I'll give you a quick update on any QuoteWorks product news. And this call is being recorded. After the presentation, you, you will get an email from our system after about a day or so with a link to the recording, which you can play back, of course, whenever you want to. And we'll most likely pop it up on our YouTube channel as well. Okay, just a brief mention about Wizard Systems, leading supplier of QuoteWorks. We do loads of different CRMs as well, uh, and we offer the total package around QuoteWorks as well as supplying the product, um, upgrades, integrating it with different CRM systems, any kind of training you want. Um, we're currently in lockdown. This, this event is June 2020. Uh, we're sort of in lockdown still in the UK, so we're doing a lot of our implementation um, and training online. Um, please contact us if you want any kind of help around QuoteWorks. And we've got a, a responsive, permanently manned help desk ready to answer your calls. OK, single spreadsheet into a single quote. And this originated recently. Um, the idea behind this uh, session this morning came from a recent call on our help desk where a client of ours regularly received um, um, a list of products from a key customer that they had to quote on. Um, and this is where QuoteWorks can actually help them out with this particular feature that is not widely known, um, but very easy to do. So consider, consider the scenario a supplier of yours or a customer regularly gives you a spreadsheet of data, um, products and items, different bits of information that you've got to create a quotation on. So here we see an example spreadsheet. Hopefully you're very good on Latin, um, but we've got four very simple columns in this spreadsheet. So we've got the part number, maybe the manufacturer's part number, the description of the product. Um, we've got the cost price of those items and the normal selling price. How do we get that into QuoteWorks? Well, very simply, we just highlight the spreadsheet. So there we are there, just highlighted the active uh, cells of that spreadsheet. And now I'm going to copy that into the Windows clipboard, pop up it works, highlight the cell I want to, or the part of the spreadsheet I want to import into, and then I will do the insert paste special. Not the insert paste, that won't work, but paste special. What will happen then is that you're gonna get the paste special wizard coming up. And you could use an existing, if you've done this many times before, you can actually save a template for this. But I'm actually going to start a new session here, which will just take me through this wizard 
step by step in uh, the different options and mapping the fields to the spreadsheet. So where is the source data? Well, I've copied it into my clipboard, but I could take it from an existing file, um, typically a CSV file. Click Next. Now, my in my spreadsheet, row number one had a description of columns. Quite plainly, I don't want to import that. So I'm actually going to start at row number two. Um, and you could actually get a little option there for ignoring the last few rows if you want to. So I've only got a very simple spreadsheet here, row two and row three. Click Next. This is now where I want to map the columns in that spreadsheet to the, the key information on my quotation, the part number, the description, the cost price, and the, the selling price. So I've just got these fairly bland columns here. I just need to click into the column header on each of these four columns just to map that. So I've just double click there and map it to a particular um, column uh on my on my document items so column number one is obviously my manufacturer's part number select that one column number two double click in the header there um, i will take the description column number three select that and i will have that as the unit cost price double click there and lastly column four double click there and we have the unit price, the selling price, double click there. We could also, just lower down here, we could also pull product information um, and map the field data to an existing data source. If I want to pull in extra product information into that, it was fairly, it was a, like a fairly partial Excel spreadsheet. I could do that. Um, and there's a few options there. Just click next. Now, I could append exactly where my cursor is i could insert somewhere else click next i can save this um profile this this um this process as a template so if i'm regularly going to get um data in a similar format but if i click finish and click close there it is done it's brought in the information for you populated an example of well i'm not actually showing the part number there but the part number, of course, can be displayed as a column on the Documents Items tab or indeed on the quotation. But very simply there, an easy way of getting one Excel spreadsheet into an active quotation. So uh, and now, as you, if you're familiar with the format of our training sessions, if you've got any questions around this feature, be happy to answer those for you, pop your questions into the question box on the meeting control panel. Um, question from Liz: Can you go? Can you go the other way, i.e., quote works to Excel? Uh, yes, you can. You can just highlight. Uh, well, you, you need to click in on the left-hand side. Just highlight the rows that you want to you want to uh, copy over there, and, and then. Uh, yeah, just go into Excel and probably just a normal paste would do it in Excel, not a paste special, just an ordinary paste. Um, so, yes, you can go the other way as well um, from that data in quote works quickly to Excel. Uh, Leon, what happens if there are other items already in the quote? Well, uh, you would, okay, so you would just insert, you would just highlight, you might have actually inserted a row first of all, and then just um, do the insert um, option at the end of my little wizard. I had append, i.e. put these items on the end of the quote or insert um, that highlighted row. So you might actually, you might actually insert a row in the quote, first of all, and then insert paste um, special into that location. So um, to slip it in there. Um, Cameron, we get regular price updates from a key supplier of ours. Is this the best way? 
Well, actually, actually, the the best way is to use the normal, as I was describing a little bit a few minutes ago, just use the normal CSV import with Quora. Well, I think we covered that on a previous training session, but we will we'll do a recap on that on a future training session. Um, so you, if you are getting regular price updates from suppliers, uh, you may maintain um, a price list for that supplier in your in your query work system. Uh, so you can do regular imports of that that um, price list into Quote Works based on a match maybe of the part number. And uh, it's quite nice actually because it will, if if the supplier gives you changes to prices or changes to descriptions or maybe even new products that you can now sell, um, the actual import process will do a, a match, will will update existing products in your Quote system, um, but will also but will also create new products where there is no match. Uh, so that would be the normal process there. Okay, I don't think there's any more questions coming through. So just to keep you up to date, we're doing all our training online right now. Uh, so if you've got any requirements for any kind of assistance with Quora Works, we'd be happy to help you out. Uh, the latest build or the latest version and build of Quora Works, so it's version 5.5. Um, build 4.06, of course, you can, as you log into Quora Works, or you can go to help and about in Quora Works to double check what, what version and build you're on. And you've got to have, you've got to have the annual upgrade maintenance program for Quora Works to actually get the latest updates. You can get that UMP or up, upgrade maintenance program from Wizard Systems. A very low cost annual fee to get make sure on the latest versions so that's it me done um, single excel spreadsheet into quote works if you've got any more suggestions for future topics please email me tim at wizard systems.com uh, but thanks very much for those of you attending live and we'll catch up with you same time next week thanks very much indeed bye-bye